Today we're going to look at a nice and quick number puzzle. So our goal is to find the pattern in these equations. So the first one is 1 equals 1, so that's fairly obvious. Then we have 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 1 plus 8. 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 is the same as 8 plus 27. And then finally, 10 plus 11 plus 12 all the way up to 16 is equal to 27 plus 64. So I'd say maybe a good place to start for this would be to guess the next case. So let's see if we can see what the next case would be. So notice that the ending point of this step is one less than the starting point of the next step. So notice here we end at 9, here we start at 10. Here we end at 4, we start at 5. Here we end at 1, we start at 2. So that tells us that the next step should probably start at 17. So let's write that down. We have 17 plus 18 plus... Then let's see where it ends. Notice that these guys are ending at perfect squares. So we have 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. So it stands to reason that this should end at 5 squared or 25. Okay, now let's see what we've got over here. So if we take this 1 and rewrite it as 0 plus 1, maybe that'll help a little bit. Because notice this is 0 cubed plus 1 cubed. This is 1 cubed plus 2 cubed, 2 cubed plus 3 cubed, 3 cubed plus 4 cubed. So that tells us that maybe this should be 4 cubed, which is 64, plus 5 cubed, which is 125. Now you can maybe check that just by simple arithmetic and you'll see that this is actually the case. So now let's maybe see if we can generalize this and how could we do that? Well, maybe we could notice that this guy right here is a perfect cube, so maybe we would label this one as n cubed. But this is the next perfect cube, so this would be like n plus 1 cubed. So in this case, we have n equals 4, n plus 1 is 5. Now next, notice that on the right-hand side, we're ending at the perfect square corresponding to this perfect cube. So that would be n plus 1 squared. Now we just have to figure out what we are starting at. And we're starting at the perfect square plus 1 that is previous to this. In other words, we're starting at n squared plus 1. So I think we have a claim built. And that claim is written here in yellow. So we have n squared plus 1 plus n squared plus 2 all the way up to n plus 1 quantity squared is equal to n cubed plus n plus 1 cubed. Okay, so in order to do this cleanly, I'm going to recall a couple of facts which I won't prove. So let's put those on the board over here. So like I said, we're going to use two fairly standard algebraic identities in order to prove this claim. The first one is the sum of a triangular number, or it's the sum of the first m positive integers. So we've got 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to m is equal to m times m plus 1 over 2. So this is a standard exercise in induction. If you've never seen it, I think I've maybe got a video on the channel. If not, there are a bunch of videos on YouTube of proving this identity. Next is the sum of cubes identity. So a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So we'll use each of these identities as we're working through the proof of this claim. So let's maybe do the proof of this claim now. So we'll start with the left-hand side. So I'll just rewrite it. We have got n squared plus 1 plus n squared plus 2 plus all the way up to n plus 1 quantity squared. But I'm going to name that something else. Well, it's not really renaming it. I'm going to multiply out that perfect square binomial to give me n squared plus 2n plus 1. Now I'm going to see that every term here has an n squared. And furthermore, we have exactly 2n plus 1 total terms. That's because this is like the first term, the second term, all the way up to the 2n plus 1 term. So we can break this into two pieces. We can break this into n squared plus n squared, 2n plus 1 times. 
So let's write that here, 2n plus 1 times. And then we have the triangular number, 1 plus 2 plus 3, all the way up to 2n plus 1 from everything that's left over. Okay, well, repeated addition is just multiplication. So that means this guy right here is the same thing as n squared times 2n plus 1. And then we can use the triangular number formula over here that we were called on this next bit. So that's going to be equal to 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 2 all over 2. So that's by this identity where m is 2n plus 1. Okay, now we can simplify this a little bit. Notice that we can factor a 2n minus, sorry, plus 1 out of this entire thing. So let's maybe join those together and we'll factor it out. And furthermore, we can do a simplification by dividing by 2. That'll cancel this 2 in the denominator and these two 2's in the numerator, leaving us with n plus 1. Nice. So let's see what that leaves us with. We'll take a 2n plus 1 out and then we are left with n squared plus n plus 1. So we've got n squared from this term right here and then n plus 1 from those terms right there. Okay, now I want to rewrite this slightly in a way so that we can use this uh, cubic formula over here. So let's take this n plus 2n plus 1 and rewrite it as n plus 1 plus n like that. And then I'll take this second term and rewrite it in a tricky way. So I'm going to rewrite it as n plus 1 quantity squared minus n times n plus 1 plus n squared. So there's a little arithmetic to be done, but it can be easily checked that this thing that I'm overlining in red is equal to this other thing that I'm overlining in red. But notice that all of this over here is this sum of cubes formula where a is equal to n plus 1 and b is equal to n. So that means that if we multiply those two together, we'll get the left-hand side of this, which in fact is n plus 1 cubed plus n cubed. But then since addition is commutative, that's clearly n cubed plus n plus 1 cubed, so that finishes our proof. And that's a good place to stop.